Hi, I'm Connie Ladenberg from the Pierce County Council. This year, we're celebrating the 100th anniversary of the passage of the 19th Amendment, which gave women the right to vote. A lot's happened in those 100 years where women didn't have a voice to now we have women in leadership. Today, we are talking to Patty Jackson Kidder, Chief of Corrections for Pierce County. So let's start out talking about you, who you are. Where did you come from? A little bit about how you grew up, where you grew up. So f first off, uh, thank you very much for uh, even giving me this opportunity to talk to you. I was really interested in going into law enforcement. This was back, you know, in the late 80s, and they didn't have um, as many positions open in law enforcement. Mm -hmm. And one of my friends said, hey, the jail's hiring. I was like, I never woke up any point in my life saying, I want to go work for a jail. I didn't know what that looked like. I thought it might have been in jail. I didn't know what it looked like to work in one. Growing up in this career, being able to see other people coming in and helping them grow their careers is very uh, rewarding. It's very humbling. And uh, right uh, at this point, as you know, I've, uh, I was appointed as the, the chief of corrections. Uh, it's a bureau chief. The sheriff's department right. has you know the four bureaus. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm overseeing a large organization, what many of people don't know, is we've got close to 300 deputies that work here. Being in, entrusted by, you know, Sheriff Pastor right. and the peers that I work with under Sheriff Baumkamp, fantastic to work for. Uh, and then my, the, the, I have three co-chiefs, um, three peers, and what a great team. Um, but the men and women that are working here are safeguarding the community. Um, what is probably one of your biggest challenges here in the department? Um, as a chief. Right. So I think the biggest challenge is as, as the chief, uh, believe it or not, or not as, as what people would believe coming from within and the, the individuals that work here, it is trying to, to get the public to understand what this job is and to really educate the public on the, the job that the men and women are, are doing. So if you think about this as a city, which it is, right, we feed people here, we do their laundry, Right? We educate them, we give them medical services, we give them you know, mental health counseling, things mm -hmm. along those lines. Um, there's a lot of people that are out on the public that would look in, well you should do this, that, or the other, kind of like that armchair quarterback. Yes. They don't understand you know, what it takes, the complex complexities of, of right, a city this size um, to actually you know, manage the number of inmates that we do here in a safe, secure, and constitutional manner. Okay, I'm going to ask you a few questions that we're asking all of the people that we're interviewing. Okay. What is your greatest professional accomplishment? The day that, that um, Sheriff Pastor called me down and it told me that he was naming me the Chief of Corrections um, is a huge accomplishment because it means that he's entrusting me yeah. to run a small city That's right. and, uh, and to safeguard the men and women that work for him. Uh, what is your greatest personal accomplishment? So I have a, um, I have one son. When I saw him as a father, yes. the first time, yes. I looked back and I said, I did okay. Yes. What would you tell a woman today about entering the corrections field? It's a fantastic career. Uh, you make a difference. So what would you tell today, what would you tell your 20-year-old self? Uh, I would, unfortunately, hate to admit this, I would uh, tell the 20-year-old self that no, you don't know everything there is to know. You might think that you do, but let me just tell you that you do not. Uh, thank you for being who you are. I think that your compassion and interest and love for your job is obviously obvious. <laughs> um, but it, I think it makes our jail a better place. Um, it isn't just lock them up, throw away the key. Right. You're really trying to make changes in people's lives. Yes. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs>